I would even go as far as saying. Harry can't drive. Great. I actually feel like I'm on holiday now. That's so nice. It's a bit of a deserted town. It was basic though, wasn't it? That gym was actually sick. But we haven't tried the plain one. Am I alone? No, I don't want to speak. Is in the top 10. I mean, Korean girls. We're just walking along and it is stunning. Jet ski, so whilst we fill up, it certainly looks interesting. Oh, I'm ready for this. So I believe the universe gives signs. It was 170 just for the cable car. Next stop, Chenang Beach. We may not have, whoa. Langkawi is made of 99 islands. Hi everybody, good morning. What's the time? Half 10? Quarter to 11. It's quarter to 11 uh, on a Tuesday morning and we've just been doing some work since we woke up and now we are gonna go and find some coffee and some breakfast. Something really cool about this hotel is they've got a little water dispenser. First impressions so far, we like it guys. Yeah. So it's really nice. We've come to like a less touristy area, but that cafe was cute. Uh, breakfast was basic, but it seems like they more specialise in their like pancakes and waffles. No, but that it was cooked perfectly. But yeah, no, it was good. Like, How dare you? It was basic though, wasn't it? And like, we've just walked down what seems to be like a high street and it's, I don't know, it's quiet. I think it's still the like holiday time of Eid. But if we just keep walking, that way for 30 minutes then we're in like the main town so we're gonna head there tonight but now we're gonna go back suss out the pool suss out a sunbathing situation so we need to get a tan before this wedding we're gonna do the gym and then yeah we'll head there this evening okay i think this is the best gym in langkawi which is such a good gym <laughs> gym was actually sick so much better than the pictures mm, it actually was bigger than i thought as well now we're a little bit hungry so we're going to stop by kfc to get some nuggets and then we're going to continue our walk into kua like main town the main area and see what we can find for dinner don't judge kfc your boy is uh losing weight need protein some protein and obviously like malaysian food is well a lot of street food is usually carb heavy unless you can find like satay or something so we're just gonna get some KFC. But for dinner, we don't know what we're gonna get, but we're kind of thinking we're gonna make the most of nice restaurants whilst they're cheap, rather than go for street food because we have street food all the time. Yeah. Got two in one way. So KFC was super, super, super busy, but it is the end of a work day. So we've got sausages from 7-Eleven. But we haven't tried the plain one. Is that a Costa cup? Yeah, I don't have Costa in ages. That's funny, because they would have put that like, on the ferry or something, just a massive Costa cup. Get it here. A large tower and a water park. We've officially become pretty hungry. Very smiling at me like you know something. So I think dinner's gonna turn into that. As soon as we see something edible, we're gonna get that. Okay, so we're warm. We're very tired from the gym. My top is itching so I've got a little bit of sunburn. And along this road, like, a lot of things are closed, I think, because it's still a public holiday. Or, like, the aftermath of a public holiday where no one's just... Too. No one's bothered to open. Yeah. So it's a bit of a deserted town. What we're doing is we're 26 minutes near the Kua point. Oh, I'm being rung by the grab driver. Hello? Pardon, sorry? Am I alone? Oh, you're at the airport. Okay, all right. That's okay, thank you, bye. Anyway, 26 minutes towards the Kua Point walk or 26 minutes back to where we came from. And last night, to be fair, where we're staying does have some incredible looking food. I would, I would even go as far, I would, I would even go as far as saying I'd eat the Japanese again. Oh yeah. So we're pretty tired. So we're getting a grab, it's only six ring it. And then we're gonna get some dinner. You wanna tell them? No, I don't want to speak. The grabs ended up messing us around, which happened in Penang as well. So I feel like it's an island thing when they say like, you're too far, cancel it. And they kept doing it. So like, sod it, we'll just walk. So we actually ended up walking 30 minutes, I think, um, 
to get here, but we are now in the Korean place that we wanted to go to last night, and we have ordered some incredible looking food. So let's find out. I've never had Korean before either. Can I make Korean with us? So that dinner is so crazy, it's absolutely so crazy. So we, we, have, we have said that the last night and tonight is in the top 10 of our all time best food we've ever had. That, that, was, that was incredible, I've never had Korean before. Just so unique. And anyway, it came to 19 pounds 49. How many ring it was it? 107. I mean, for a din dinner like that in London, you'd pay for one of those dishes like 25 pound and we had three. We're both really full and have definitely had enough protein. But we've just secured a car for tomorrow. So we are popping to the ATM to grab some cash as it's cash only. Hang on, fun fact. I learnt this from my friend Sundra. Petrol, I believe, is actually now cheaper than bottled water in Malaysia. Okay, so we've just given them cash for the car. Like, there's no proof. I'm also filling a bottle up. So we're calling it a gentleman's agreement on about 20 quid of whether or not we get a car turn up tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. Wait, see. You're in a car? Yeah. Uh, can I know your number, please? 205. White mobile. <laughs> Do you want me to help you turn around? Alright, just let's just. Oh, there is a, a crack in the windscreen. Have we got aircon? Aircon, aux cable. Oh my dash. god, yes, USB! That means you can charge things and listen to music. Oh, maybe I don't. Harry can't drive. Great. You were moving while the wheels are still facing the other way. Cool. So we've got our coffee we've had our breakfast don't judge us for having not local food for breakfast please it's a big day ahead of us i need the calories all right i need fats I need protein i need carbs but i will say though that Macros. that um like it's like a proper like chicken burger inside that thing like a big slab of chicken so feels good had a bit of protein rather than just a muffin or something we're just walking along and it is stunning jet ski charlotte what I feel like I'm on holiday now. <laughs> so nice. Yeah, it's so pretty. So there's the big eagle. It looks pretty big. And Sundra tells us that it's here because there used to be lots of eagles on the island. And eagle is a sign. What's the word he uses? He, a um, victory. Yeah, but he uses that thing. He says it's, it's a, a very. Good sign. Yeah, but there's a, there's a word he uses. It's um, like a lucky thing to see. And we saw one the other day. And actually, we saw one yesterday. Auspicious, that's what Suspicious. he uses. Okay. okay, so there's quite a few people taking pictures. Okay. Langkawi is made of 99 islands. Tropical. 99 is my number. Tropical. It's your number because you're born in 99? Yeah, born in 99 and ice cream 99. A 99. Good number. It means greatness. He looks pretty chill, don't he? Yeah. He's very green. Yeah, he's got that. One. Thank you. That is stunning. We think there's another viewpoint up, so we're gonna continue going up. But we've just stopped in this little bit. My ears are like, is it, were we that high up? Pops, yeah. Yeah, we look, it looks high up. Mm. 
So we've come to another viewpoint. It's just a little bit higher up than where we were just now. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> weapon it seems like we came at a good time because lots of people are arriving he put in 2.44 liters and it was five ring it please may do 20. Mackenzie. so whilst we fill up here in this very rural area with a cow just over there um let's talk about the car we hired from our hotel there was a poster in the hotel and we messaged the guy and he just says pay at reception and then the car will be there in the morning and it's 24 hours so we've got ours from 9 30 today to 9 30 tomorrow so we just get given the car keys shown the car don't get told if it's petrol don't ask for our driver's license never actually met the guy giving the car to us we've just got the car so yeah it's an interesting arrangement i might look in there to see if they've got any tampons you never know lots and lots of no. But yeah, so we've got this car, but now the next stop is to find some tampons because I didn't, wasn't expecting to be in my period and now I'm on it. So I didn't bring any and we want to go snorkeling now. Yeah, look at this cow. Let's go to the beach. Let's go get away. Don't know if you saw that, but uh, that was four pounds or less than four pounds, three pounds something for half a tank of petrol that is crazy gonna be real gonna be tmi but we're all friends here a bit of an accident so i had to change my shorts no tampons in that pharmacy back there so we've come through 15 minutes to our hotel i've changed my shorts and now we're going to pharmacy where i know has tampons harry would like an ice cream ice and cream. then we're gonna head to the sky bridge and then to do some snorkeling five pounds for a box of tampons not even a one with an applicator, nothing fancy. The most simple tampons, five quid. Just a smooth, simple tampon. Mm, maybe. Stick. Oh, maybe girl go like it. You can see on it, but that's, uh, that's where we're going. I don't even know if you can see that, but certainly looks interesting. But I'm excited, but if you can see. Oh, oh, I'm ready for this. Oh, cute hat, very cute hat, love that. Uh, can we have two? Thank you, I have it so I believe the universe gives signs and my card declined, so I didn't have enough on my Monzo but it was 170 just for the cable car so that doesn't include the sky bridge and like we went to that viewpoint, we saw the top of the island we went, to a, went on a cable car to go up to Genting recently it's like only £15 each but considering we've had like really nice dinners for £15 each night we just don't have loads of money so I think it would be, it looks incredible, like it looks like the view will be really good but if we hadn't gone up to the top earlier, I feel like we But would. yeah, if there was no other way to see the view then we would have, but never mind, it is what it is. Um, everything happens for a reason. So we're gonna have a look around this oriental village. I'll tell you what first. I don't like is these made up cheap touristy places that only give you access to like a view the sky cam. Yeah, it's a bit weird. It's like yeah. I think if the bridge was included, it would be very different. But yeah. Anyway, never mind. Um, let's get Harry a coffee. A few cute little bridges and things around. Oh, that's wobbly. <laughs> I believe I believe in signs of the universe, and that was one that it wouldn't be worth it. What do you want? These DP tampon. How are your towel? Okay, so we've sat down on these sunbeds. Like usually, people come over and tell you how much they cost, but. No one has, so we might just be getting a free sunbed. Hello. Look how insane the uh Yeah you actually can't. Like, yeah. If the clouds don't come too much, 
but I think we're in for a treat and we'll have a lovely sunset. But we've paid 20 ringgit for these sunbeds. Um, we tried to get us to pay 40, but it is a good time. It's five o'clock, so we want to try and stay here for sunset if the clouds don't come too much. We had a fresh coconut for six ringgit. There's just been an influx of people, but before it was actually really quiet. And it is like gen generally a pretty quiet beach, so it's like a little hidden gem. It's perfect, really. And then we're going to head to Chenang Beach for dinner. So there's like little restaurants and shops and things if you are hungry and want to eat here but I need to go to the loo and yeah we haven't checked out Chenang Beach yet so next stop Chenang Beach it's raining we are now oh rainbow I haven't seen one of those in a while we're now really grateful that we've got a car to us and we're coming through a very local place but a lot of nice brick houses um and a few like homestays and room stays and things that probably aren't on booking.com but yeah the beach we were just at was called Tan Zhong Ru Beach probably Tan Zhong Ru Beach come on get it what? but yeah as you saw it was like a really quiet beach we got those sun beds and the sea was like clean like it didn't smell of fumes or anything there was like only a few fishing boats like around but not really when we were there you can hire quad bikes and there was like restaurants and places to get drinks there was toilets you'd have to pay a ring it to use them oh we got some cows crossing the road oh cute baby cow cookie crumble that sounds good it's actually quite expensive 79.90 that's like 15 pounds that's 15 pounds do you know what first impression this reminds me of kuta bali like all of the shops behind and the mall and then just just the long beach it's a long 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 beach very pretty but very busy and like loads of water sports so i feel like if we tried to go in the sea it would probably feel a little bit more dirty than where we were today um but also i feel like if it wasn't raining when we drove here we may not have whoa fireworks and a motorbike on the beach <laughs> um yeah we may not have eaten in that restaurant we probably would have eaten ones on the on the front but it was raining and there was no way we were just gonna walk in the rain for the sake of it we hadn't eaten like six hours yeah and that was that was really good food actually it was filling it was nowhere near as good as the other two nights and it was more expensive but we are in like the main tourist part of Langkawi so I feel like people are probably driven to booking a hotel here as there's more here but i much prefer where we're yeah. staying like there's better food and like there's literally everything there's the gym there's coffee there's a beach um yeah i'm like i'm glad we've come here to have a look but it is just so busy like this is proper tourist touristy isn't it yeah it's not offensive though but it is there's a lot of people no. here yeah and it was driving for it took ages because there's so many people driving they're well annoying. Uh, right, let's go. Yeah, where we're staying is definitely way more chill than this place. That's pretty good going. Free ring it for hour or two. 